Greetings there, fellow viewers. This is TechBizmo, and today I'm going to be doing a Fedora 27 review. So yeah, guys, let's get started with the video. So as you can see here, we are on DistroWatch um, with the Fedora site uh, side of DistroWatch. Um, so yeah, um, we've got Fedora pulled up right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you a little bit about around this distribution since, you know, I've made that mistake of, you know, announcing something that's based on uh, Debian that uh, I said it's based on Ubuntu. Um, and then I was, you know, responding to comments. They they were uh, commenting stuff like, um, this is a a and a, a Debian based distro, not Ubuntu based distro. And I was like, no, it's it's Ubuntu. And then, you know, I apologize for that, guys. So this is why I'm going to start uh, be doing this from now on. Um, so anyway, let's get started with that. So as you can see here, we are on the site on DistroWatch of Fedora. So the OS type is uh, Windows. No, it's Linux. Um, it's 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 based on uh, you know it's its own. It's not based on anything. Uh, but you know, Corora is based on Fedora. So uh, you know, maybe I'll be making a review video on Corora pretty soon. Origin is USA. Architecture is ARM, HFP, and i686 and x64 x86. Um, um, the desktop uh, environments, the desktop choice environment choices that they have is awesome. Cinnamon, Enlightenment. Um, GNOME, KDE, Plasma, um, LXDE, Mate, Openbox, Repoison, Rat Poison, and XFCE, Repoison, Rat Poison, and XFCE. Category is Desktop Server and Live Medium. Status is, of course, Active and Popularity, 8, 942 hits per day. So, um, I don't really think I'll bother to uh, read this down there, but you know, you can go ahead and read this right there. Just go ahead and pause the video and, and just read that description if you'd like. But anyway, let's get into the review of the review side of this video. So we'll go ahead and open up our uh, window, our virtual box, and here we are. We are on the lock screen of Fedora GNOME. Um, and as you saw on DistroWatch, it does have a bunch of other desktop environment choices. However, I'm going to be doing the main, the base, um, desktop environment choice. So anyway, let's go ahead and log into our account. And we'll go ahead and wait for that to load. Now keep in mind guys that GNOME is a little bit of a heavyweight uh, uh, desktop environment, I apologize. Um, and you know, uh, Fedora itself with, uh, with uh, GNOME is heavyweight. Um, and it looks like um, I didn't uh, <laughs> launch up the correct one. Um, or did I? I think I did. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. I just need to go ahead and select these. So yeah, uh, after you've installed it, you just got some, you know, things to set up, and now I can start using Fedora. So here we are. Um, so yeah, here is the g getting started for GNOME help, and I'm just going to go ahead and take a look through this. So in the window, we have getting started, and then you know it says GNOME help getting started. We have launch application, application switch, switch tasks, use Windows and workspaces, and common ta under common tasks, we've got browse the web, connect to online account, get online, change the date and time zone, uh, date, uh, date, change the date, time, and time zone. Um, Sorry if you just heard my mic make a really loud sound. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm fidgeting with my shirt. Um, anyway, um, you got use the system to search. We got launch applications, change the wallpaper, use windows and workspaces, and switch tasks and GNOME help down there, which I'm not going to take a big look through this. I'm just going to, you know, do what I do from now on and just take a little look at that. So, um, yeah. I guess, is the dock not here? Oh, there, ah, oh, yeah, I, I always forget. I always think, like, I'm so used to other distros, you know, like uh, Corora Mate and Corora XFC, where there's a default panel on the side, so I forgot you have to press activities to open that. And uh, I believe I didn't finish me talking, so um, earlier when I, I mentioned that GNOME is a bit of a heavyweight desktop environment, I meant that, you know, this is not going to run that well in a virtual box. So keep in mind, guys, that this is going to be a lot slower than normal. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started with the main review. Um, you know, as my not non-pun intended the first time, I believe it was, uh, I think my, uh, my Corora, or not Corora, my, um, Kubuntu review, I said, without further ado, let's get started with the review, no pun intended. Um, anyway, so here we are, another blabbering around, 
um, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So the first thing we're going to look at is, of course, we've got our top panel. And this is very nice. You've got stuff like your uh, date and time and your notification center. You've got your activities, which we'll take a look at in a moment. And we've got our system tray, which is what I like to call it, since a lot of you know that I used to be a, a big Windows user. And uh, right here, we've got stuff like uh, when you pull that down, you got stuff like your volume, um, your your connections, your VPN. Um, if you want to set up a VPN fully charged, or well, you know, if you have a battery and your account, uh, you can go to system settings, which we'll go ahead and take a look at after we look at the um, this over here, our activities. Um, close that out. So anyway. Um, yeah, and then you got, uh, you know, stuff like lock and then shutdown options and stuff. So, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look into the activities area. So, here we are in the activities. We got stuff like workspaces right there, and you can just see that nice little animation. It's actually uh, a lot faster than I thought it would be. It's normally, like, really extremely laggy, but this is, this is where it normally comes to be laggy. Yep, <laughs> it's not showing the animation. Oh, it is just, uh, you know, just, just very, very slow. So anyway, um, some of the default applications we have on this side panel is Firefox. We got uh, uh, Evolution. We got Rhythmbox, Shotwell Files, and Software, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. Um, and we got Type to Search, so I could go ahead and search Firefox if I wanted to. Um, I could go ahead and um, search, you know, other applications that we have, like Software like that and uh, I guess I guess now could be a time to uh, just look at this so in the show applications you got some of your applications right there of course you got stuff some of your applications like that um, so yeah some of the included applications uh, some of the uh, default applications include boxes calculator calendar cheese clocks uh, contacts documents evolution files Firefox LibreOffice Calc LibreOffice uh, I believe that's a uh, um, math or something LibreOffice math LibreOffice draw oopsie <laughs> anyway <clears throat> so uh, yeah you just got all your LibreOffice applications blah 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 uh, you got maps rhythm box settings shot well simple scan software Sandri uh, is that like oh yeah that's like a nice little folder and you got text editor to do and utilities I think to do is actually a pretty cool thing you know I do to do's that you need to do um, yeah um, anyway so, uh, I, be I believe there's another page we can look at. Frequent and all. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You got your frequent, your frequent, if I can actually say that correctly. So, yeah, um, I promised I would, uh, take a look at the system settings, but since, but because I, I typically forget to look at the software manager, I'm going to look at the GNOME software first and save the settings for later. So, we'll go ahead and click Let's Go Shopping. And it says software catalog is being loaded. Come on, buddy. I guess I guess while that's happening, um, hopefully I won't forget it, um, since it is. Um... Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess that's like another way for minimizing. <laughs> um, while while we're waiting for that to load all the repositories, we'll go ahead and open up our settings, our um, settings manager, all of that. So. Um, we'll full screen it like that. Actually, I kind of liked it the other way. There we go. All right, so settings, we got uh, a couple options. We got Wi-Fi, we got Bluetooth, backgrounds, notifications, search, um, region and language, universal access, online accounts, privacy, sharing, sound, power, network, devices, and details. And um, uh, yeah, as you can see there, um, in devices, we just have a couple options. I can actually get into it. So devices, you have stuff like these. You can go ahead and take a look at that. And uh, down here in details, I believe, yep, this is going to show your PC specs and stuff. Uh, in reality, I actually have 16 gigabytes of RAM, but, uh, you know, since it's in a virtual box, I sort of split it up. Got some options down there as well. And, yeah, so there's a quick little look at your settings. You know, you got backgrounds. Just go ahead and change that. Um, which I kind of like this one. That's nice. <laughs> anyway, um, so we'll switch back to our workspace. We'll see if it's done. It's not done. Not done yet. Oh, well. I might need to quit that and then 
relaunch. Go ahead and test that out. Here we go. There we go. I guess it, all it needed was a close. All right. Well, here we are in the GNOME Software Center. So the options we have is, you know, at the top, all installed in updates. And, you know, just your categories right there. Featured applications, editors, picks, recommended games, that sort of stuff. Yeah, sorry. My scroller is broken. I might be, I'm probably be going to... Uh, switching to another mouse after this video since my scroller for some reason isn't working properly uh, But anyway, you know you got some recommended applications recommended games um, So yeah, and then you know you just got some of your add-ons uh, Games if you want to look at that audio video So yeah stuff like audacity if you want that communication and news so you got Firefox, Pigeon, Internet Messenger, which I could go ahead and download immediately. Um, so now um, here comes the uh, challenge, Caden Live, and I know that's in here because I use... What? What? No! I thought... I could have sworn, like, I thought I used GNOME software a lot. Like, I, th I thought I did. Oh, well, if you don't, I believe, since this is... Yeah, since this is Fedora, it uses uh, DNF, I believe it is. Um, it might be a little bit from uh, different from what it is in Corora. However, we're still going to take a look. Oh, I didn't look at these applications, did I? So we got also videos and weather. Woo! Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at files. So in files, you got desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public templates, and videos. And, you know, just recent home, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, and trash, and other locations. <clears throat> So you got sh your Shotwell image viewer as well. If if you know if you have some images on your computer, you can go ahead and launch that. Um, Evolution, which um, I believe is a mailing application. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, I think it is. Anyway, um, let me see. Okay, so Control T. Control T. <laughs> Where is ooh? I didn't mean to open up my settings. Anyway, um, terminal. You know, this is this is when you know you're not a uh, you're not good at Linux. You can't find the terminal. <laughs> Actually, I kind of want to use Terminator anyway, so. See if, yep, we got Terminator. Seems like we do have the uh, default terminal. Actually, let me search for it. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> Probably just missing out. Anyway, here we go. I apologize for that, guys. I apologize for my, um, me being naive. Anyway, so I believe it's sudo um, dnf install. Yep, it is sudo dnf install. I believe I made a typo. TechBizmo is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported. sudo dnf install game live. Okay, so I gotta add myself to the sudo sudoers file. Um, I, I might actually make a tutorial video on this since uh, I don't want to waste I don't want to waste time in this video. But I I guess maybe after this video that would be a good idea. May, uh, show how to add your user to the uh, sudoers file in uh, Fedora. So that that'll be a nice tutorial for today. Um, you know, maybe get back on the old schedule. Two videos every day. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I guess. Um, you know, you got your utilities as well. I'm going to take a look at that. Like, let's check out the uh, screenshot um, quality. So, take screenshot. I love that camera shutter application. If you didn't heard that, if you didn't hear that, it was a very nice camera shutter uh, sound. Did I say camera shutter application the first time? What the heck? <laughs> anyway, so I believe we should have it in pictures. There it is. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, that actually looks genuine. It looks actually exactly like it. I mean, yeah, you guys probably can't tell because I'm recording, um, and it's you know the you know the quality's limited a little bit. Um, you know, got display settings. We could go ahead and take a look at that. And displays. You got resolution, your refresh rate, well, 
put that up to, ooh, I get 60.02 hertz. Oh, that's awesome. Anyway, got orientation, um, your, yeah, your fresh ray, um, resolution, 2560 by 1600. I think I broke it. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna, it should, um, it should count down. Please. Are you going to count down? Are you going to count down? Are you going to count down? <laughs> I'm actually, oh, okay, yep, it counted down. Thank God. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, just, yeah, background. Change background. I actually, I actually don't really like this one. Um, ugh, I keep forgetting the scroller is broken. Um, let's do that. That, looks, that actually looks nice. Like, you got that old barn. Got Firefox as well. Glad to see that as the default web browser. So, yeah, guys. I, I guess that is it, guys. I guess that is the end of this video. So, um, comment uh, in the comments below. Just let me know what you guys think about my review. Um, just let me know if I missed anything, and I will go ahead and just make an external review. Uh, not not an actual external review. Just just review the applications that I missed and stuff. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and comment down below if I missed anything, or if there's other things you want to see about Fedora. Well, anyway, guys, as I said, it is the end of this video now. Thank you very much for watching.